known in private life as Kenneth Bwachi Echampong. The S. Adebebahini reigned for eight years until he dropped the bombshell to abdicate his revered stool. I decided to progress because every human being needs progression. And I sat down and know that my progress will come from here. After several failed attempts to convince the kingmakers who initially rejected his decision, he has now performed all the necessary traditional rites to signify his abdication. I sat down with my uh, chief and elders and uh, queen mother of my soul. Initially, they didn't agree with me, but it's my decision, so I have to move. So later on, they understood. So I do unnecessary rituals and abrogate the stool. So I'm no more a chief in Adeba. The 1992 constitution debars chiefs from actively engaging in partisan politics. Clause 1 of Article 276 of the constitution instructs chiefs who seek election as parliamentarians to abdicate their stool or skin. According to the constitution of Ghana, you can't be a chief and at the same time be a, par a member of parliament. So I uh, fabricate the stood and become a parliamentary candidate. So I'm no more a chief. 7th December 2020, Obian Tunaba and Mark Kenneth Bwachi Achampo. Nana Abankro's abdication is not only a fulfillment of that constitutional provision, but also in heeding to the warnings of the Asante Hene, the overlord of the Ashanti kingdom, Otunfo Osei Tudu II, has repeatedly warned his chiefs against meddling in active politics. I visited the Mensha Palace to speak to Monakika historian Osei Bonsu Safo Kantanka. He says Nana Abankro's decision is a sign of respect to the Asante Hene. You just don't have to combine the two. Active politics and uh, the traditional activities. So Asandihine would certainly uh, be very happy to, to see his own grandson abdicate, that is to say, obeying the traditional laws. Nana Abankro is not the first chief to abdicate his tool to pursue political ambition that is according to Mr. Osebonsu. But what is so special about the Adiebe Bahine? Mr. Osebonsu again. Everybody matters. Adiebe ba is among the uh, Kumasi communities. Adiebe ba is also an important community of the Kumasi uh, traditional council. And even uh, towns and villages far away from Kumasi matter. So how much more uh, a town or village that is within the Kumasi township, he matters. And he belongs to the Manure division of the Ashanti kingdom. So uh, the fact that he is even a member of the, one of the 12 big um, wings of the kingdom is a presuppose he, he matters. Constituents of Adansia Sukwa have greeted the news of Nana Abankro's abdication with joy. They will not see Nana Adu Abankro on the ballot paper, but Kenneth Wachi Echampong as the vote on December 7, 2020. 23-year-old Franklin Yamwamenu, a level 300 student of the University of Energy and Natural Resources, is one of them. I will vote for Honorable Wachkin of the NDC. For the past 20 years, Honorable Katie Amon cannot even show us even just a single infrastructure he made in Adansi Asokwa. That's the main reason why the youth in Adansi Asokwa have come out with this decision. We are all going to vote for Honorable Achiken. If you are going around, there is no a single road that has been constructed for this particular constituency. And at the same time, the youth, they are all jobless. They are moving around doing nothing. So that one motivated me that I should come in and step in and come and win the seat and help the good people of uh, this particular constituency. The National Democratic Congress hopes to capitalize on the situation 
to improve its electoral fortunes in one of the strongholds of the new patriotic party. Kenneth Wache Echampong will be coming up against former Deputy Energy Minister Kobna Tahirum Hammond, who has been representing the area for the last 20 years. Lawrence Adakwa is the NDC communication officer for Adansi Asokwa. Heroes like Jesus Christ, like Muhammad and all others, they come down to the level of the people on the ground before they were able to help them. We are very proud of him because for him to abdicate that seat at Menjia and come to do politics alone tells you that he has very, uh, something better for the people here. So we are very proud that he has done that and we are very sure he is going to get a reward from the people, which is their vote. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Oyeminteria reporting.